Here I introduce the BESTEX event risk model. The BESTEX event risk model is built using Hawk's processes. Now this is a self-exciting point process where each event leads to further events. Now it's originally used to model earthquakes, but it's since seen lots of other applications in other domains. You can play with Hawks processes using my hawksprocesses.jl package that is available in the general repository, and this provides a clean interface for using Hawks processes. Now there are three parameters that describe a Hawks process. This is the baseline probability, which is indicated by the yellow arrow. Then there is the intensity increase after each event, which shows how much that probability spikes and is indicated by the orange arrow. And there's the decay of this intensity over time, which is indicated with the black arrow. Now what counts as an event in the FX market? We want to understand if a currency goes through a large change in price or volatility, how does that affect the rest of the day? So in this case, an event is any large changes in prices or volatility. Then using a Hawks process type model, we can try and understand how long the disturbance will last and also what is the probability of another large change in the next X hours. To fit this type of model, we have 20 different currencies and each time a currency goes through a change greater than 95% quantile, this counts as an event. We then fit a hierarchical Hawks process across the 20 time series to come up with uh, single parameters for each that describes all of the events. We finally find that each event has a 91% chance of causing another event, and this lasts for roughly 12 hours. When we plot the probability of an event over time, we find that there was a rapid increase of these types of events over the COVID crisis in early 2020, and a similar increase in late 2020 as the EU and UK were negotiating their trade deal. This probability has since fallen off and it is now hovering around 2.5%. Now this gives a good indication of how these probabilities can change over time and it seems to indicate that the model is able to describe what was actually happening in the FX markets on a given day. As I fit this on 20 different currencies, I've pulled out four others and you can see that the patterns are very similar but then differ slightly depending on what currency we are looking at. But overall, all of them went through a very large increase over early 2020 in that COVID crisis as that affected all currencies. Overall, we're very happy with this type of model as it's able to describe some complex behavior with just a few simple parameters. Thank you for listening.